Lila is best known for using music to raise awareness for humanitarian causes, both in the South African and New York City communities. On her more personal platforms, she is celebrated for singing about the lows of growing up in a broken home and the highs of getting to travel and experience love and romance in all its dimensions. A radio producer, the author of Relying on the Kindness of Strangers, and a truth-telling singer-songwriter, this is the life story of Lila Illing. I read a little bit about you. I know your mom passed when you were still very young. Yeah. And uh, you used to sing in the car when you guys were going to places, but you couldn't afford a radio. The car didn't have yeah. a radio. That, then you went to live with your dad. Did you run away from home or did you tell him you're leaving? Um, I ran away after a lot of abuse. Yeah, when I was 15, I was out of the house and I didn't know what was next. Yeah. I just kept going. And uh, when did you get the guitar? When um, I was in high school, my friends put money together to get me a guitar. Back then, you used to, all you had was pretty much your guitar, you know. Yeah. Some, you didn't even have a place to stay at some stage. Mm -hmm. Although a runaway, Lila managed to graduate by waiting tables to pay for her high school fees and went on to earn a degree in radio broadcasting. Still just a teen, she started singing to raise money for orphanages, animal shelters and the homeless. It was her goal from a young age to use music as a tool to improve her circumstances and those of others. Her passion opened doors to new opportunities. Musicians on call, spearheaded by artists like Demi Lovato and Kelly Clarkson, welcomed Lila to their program, where as a volunteer she gives bedside performances for cancer patients in New York City hospitals. Lila also got to give her first Manhattan rooftop performance when Ubuntu Pathways, a charity supported by the likes of Jake Gyllenhaal, invited her to sing for a fundraiser on a Wall Street rooftop. So can we get her on the camera, please? I'm bleeding hard. If I'm not good enough for love and enough, let's make this fast. Who cares? I'll find my fish. I'm colorful. I get so nervous. The popular podcast, Shunned, interviewed Lila about her cult-like upbringing and the song she wrote for survivors who have been brave enough to leave these communities. It created dynamics that impact her to this day and set her on a path to try to help Amish youth here in America now. One thing you need to know about Lila is that she's a prolific songwriter and performer. Her activism spills into the content she creates. And with over 100,000 views, her most viewed video to date is the silent demonstration against gender-based violence she captured and wrote a song to. And they say, it's a crazy world that we live in. There's no justice, you just have to forgive them. Is that what I'll have to teach my children? While moving abroad alone has its challenges, having the opportunity to hone her craft in front of New York City audiences and record original music in top-notch studios has been rewarding. But a free-spirited heart, she is just as fulfilled performing for strangers on street corners. That's Lila, ladies and gentlemen, from South Africa. I know I must be ready for you. In her own words, I have to live in the moment. I sing to anyone who will listen especially on my travels, and I love making videos of my ventures and treasure the people I meet who lend me their ears. Lila's vulnerability has landed her in the right place at the right time. From serenading sports stars in restaurants to spontaneous carpool karaoke sessions, which have resulted in news headlines and viral videos. I've never cheated videos where you can just copy paste, copy paste. Well, welcome to uh, the real world. Yeah, you're a professional. Welcome to Lila's world. It's not very good. We should record that one day. I think we should. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's record it right now. I got a boy back home in Michigan, and it tastes like Jack when I'm kissing him. So I told him that I never really liked his friends. Now he's gone and he's calling me a bitch again. There's a guy that lives in the garden state. 
an impromptu performance at a South African expat gathering in New York led to her first big break. I, uh, I was saying let's sing the anthem and somebody filmed it. Yeah, and you started singing yes, the national guitar. anthem yeah. with your guitar. It went viral in yeah. South Africa. The South African Rugby Union found out about her. And this is the big news that she has to tell you. Today I am so proud to announce that I'll have the privilege of singing the South African National Anthem for our Springboks this weekend when they face Wales at the RFK Stadium in Washington, D.C. Um, the USA Rugby Union got back to me and they gave me the opportunity to sing the anthem. RFK Stadium. It's not some small venue either. I don't know the number of how many people it seats. Maybe 46, this is a huge... 46,000. The wonderful Lila Illing will be singing oh. the national anthem. <laughs> don't forget the hashtag, sing with Lila. I'm Jen Su. Enjoy. We all know a couple of slip-ups that have happened in the United States and singing the national anthem. There have been a couple of infamous moments with quite well-known celebrities. What's making you most nervous about your performance? The only thing that's really on my mind is going from somebody who's been performing uh, at local venues to performing in a stadium and just wondering how different it would be performing um, in such a big, big space. Pretty crazy day. I was there alone without my, I didn't have my family there. Yeah. Your experience and your story, I don't know how often or how much in detail you talk about it. You should talk about it more. 